Hi everyone, this is 3-1 Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone to part number two of my Dell Dimensions 5150 CPU and memory update video. So, as always, let's get started. Okay, now we're at our computer with the 3.0 and I'm going to pull it up. We're going to go to my computer so you guys can see that it's got this um, the original uh, equipment in it. Now I pulled up the um, the system information which is right here we'll zoom in on it a little bit for you and we can see that it's got the 3.0 gigahertz uh, processor it's a Pentium 4 and it only has 512 um, megabytes of RAM and our next step is we're going to uh, run a little bit of a demonstration on it so you guys can see it it's fairly quick I mean it's it's a very fast older computer as we can see uh, most stuff is pretty instant in it until we go online with it now on our computers here we don't really have cable I'm really far out in the country and what we have to use are these um, Sprint Air cards out here they're um, they're pretty fast but they're not they're faster than the phone line but they're still not quite um, as fast as a lot of the high-speed cable um, with this program that I have running right now this computer runs at um, 3 GB for its internet access speed with its highest level for the Sprint um, air card now the air card we use is the 95 or the 595 you which it's it's pretty good but it's not really that good it doesn't stream as well as the um, the 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 5.0 or the 6.0 GB cable system so but unfortunately that's all we have to work with now I'm gonna pull up the air card we're gonna go to our sprint icon here and click on that and then we're going to bring up our air card and turn it on and we're going to, that's how fast it comes up online um, now we're going to go to bookmarks here and then and now we're going to click on avatar uh, a trailer on YouTube so you guys can see how the original 3.0 um, CPU streams in this computer now we're going to go over and click it to the 720p and then we're going to expand the screen so this is coming in at 720 and it's the busy time of night like I said before and um, the air cards do tend to slow down a little bit and but basically this is how the speed is on the um, uh, on this particular uh, computer when it comes from the factory it's fast but it's really not that fast when it comes to streaming now our next step is we're going to uh, break down our Dell um, 5150 and then install our CPU that came in from eBay here's our box with our CPU in it we're gonna take it out so you guys can see it As this is the um, the SL7 Z3 uh, CPU right here which is the 3.8 so we're gonna uh, start uh, we're gonna pull down our uh, 5150 and start to install this now we have our case our Dell 5150 case and we're on the floor and we're getting ready to remove the side and the way it works is we just pull this lever back and then let me swing it around so you can see it we're going to flip this lever back 
and then pop the side covers. Not sure if I can do it with one hand. Oh, I guess I can. Then that's pretty much how the cover comes off. And we get access um, to the inside of the computer fairly easily on this one. Now originally I put uh, a video card on the um, on this Dell uh, 5150 uh, hoping that it would help um, with the processing of a lot of the video work but I'm not sure it really helps but anyways our next step is uh, to remove the little air door cover that's on the CPU it has like a little aluminum heat sink inside here and it has two fellow uh, head screws that fasten this uh, piece on so our next step is we're gonna take our Phillips head screwdriver just a standard screwdriver that's all we basically need for this uh, installation of the CPU now we have a screw on both sides of the shroud and we're gonna start to undo those next now this little um, air door um, radiator grill cover or for our heatsink is on a hinge once we get both of these screws out of here Let's see if I can zoom in on it so you can see it we can see the one screw right here on the other side and we're gonna go down in here with a screwdriver start to unscrew this check the other side okay now that we have that undone we're gonna swing this back and lift it out it's on like a little hinge right here at this point I'll zoom in out so you can see the hinge there's one on that side and one on the opposing side. So we're going to swing our heat sink back. And this gives us access to get to our CPU that's right here. Let me see if I can swing it so you can see it better. Now our next step is to undo this little latch that's right here we're going to push down and pull out a little bit and let it swing back and this will relieve the pressure on the clamp for the CPU and we can swing it up and then we can remove our 3.0 CPU now while we have it apart our next step is to remove our memory which are in these two slots right here as we can see we only have the two we have two um, five or we have two 256 uh, pieces of memory in here now and we're gonna remove these by flipping these little levers back and once we get them flipped we can lift them out and we're just they just pop right out once we uh, undo these clips well we're just about out of time again for our YouTube 10 minutes, so I hope you guys stay tuned in for our next episode on the Dell 5150 CPU and memory update video. So, till next time, this is 3-1-Pockets, and thanks for watching.